Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Sharon Bracey. I'm the proud principal of Hawthorne Academy High School. I see my students here. If you're a Hawthorne student, wave your hand. There you go. <laughs> now, I love kids, but I will say that the kids I have here at Hawthorne are some of the best. So um, I appreciate their support this morning. Um, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Hawthorne this morning. I want to say a big shout out this morning and thank you to our community partners, Atrium, uh, the Carolinas College of Health Sciences, and Bloomberg for all our partnership and conversations we've had leading up to this event. Um, I'm excited um, as this event has finally come to play. I'm excited about all the meetings we've had um, to be able to make this partnership and this grant award come to fruition. And so it's a great opportunity for us. I feel like it's really going to be an opportunity for us to do good work for kids and to give our kids a leg up for what's next. So as a part of my introduction this morning and making you feel welcome, I also need to recognize um, some members who are here in our audience today. So we're going to start with um, our CMS Board of Education members. If you are a CMS Board member, please stand. Thank you. And we have Board Chair Ms. Stephanie Steen and Ms. Thelma Byers-Bailey. Next, if you are a member of the Mecklenburg County Board of Commissioners, could you stand? I don't think we have anybody here, but we welcome them. I know Mr. Dunlap was trying to make an appearance, so he may be here coming in. So we appreciate their support of Hawthorne as well. One group I also just want to highlight before I take my seat is our Hawthorne CTE Advisory Board of the Year <laughs> last year. <laughs> Let me throw that out. But if you're a part of our CTE Advisory Board, can you please stand for recognition, please? I think they're kind of spread around. Just wave your hand. In my moment of privilege, I will also recognize our instructional facilitator, Ms. Candy Showalter, and the lady who keeps my advisory board together, and me together, Ms. Dion Duke. So thank you um, for their work. Because no one, as you know, no one is an island in this work, right? We do it all together, and I am proud of all the good work we do for kids. So that being said, I'm, you, I hope you feel welcome here. Um, as a few housekeeping items, if anyone needs to use the ladies' room or the men's room, you can go out through this back entrance of the walkway, and you can have access to that. At this time, I am going to introduce someone um, who's going to come and share a little bit of information with you about Bloomberg and all that um, they're going to do here in the Charlotte community. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Mr. Ken Hayes. Thank you, Principal uh, Bracey, and it is a pleasure to be here at Hawthorne Academy this morning and uh, be among the hawks. I'm a little nervous because hawks watch you closely, so y'all <laughs> I'm watching over here, okay? Um, but you know, on the way over here today, um, I couldn't help but think about how exciting February is for us as an organization. I'm the president of Atrium Health, and um, you know, we're, we have tons of things going on with our Heart Month because certainly we're proud to be a heart leader. Our Black History Month that we walk and, and challenge our folks to, to really uh, play big into, and we do that in, a, in, a, in a, an extraordinary way. The Groundhog Day uh, last week, uh, <laughs> the Super Bowl uh, this week, um, and uh, everybody's worried who's going to get back from Tokyo on that one, so we'll figure that out. <laughs> and then Valentine's Day, so it's just an exciting month. But when I think about what makes this month uh, even more special, it's certainly the exciting news we're going to share today uh, for Atrium Health. Uh, today, I'm honored to announce that Atrium Health is the recipient of a transformational $26.3 million grant from the Bloomberg uh, Philanthropies, one of the largest grants received by Atrium Health Foundation to date. <laughs> this investment from the Bloomberg uh, Philanthropies, and I consider it a, a strong investment, is going to have a phenomenal return from a people perspective. But it's going to help us launch an innovative early college program in partnership with the CMS schools, the Charlotte Mecklenburg schools, our Carolina's College of Health Sciences, and ultimately it's to enhance the, the, the health sciences high school curriculum. And I spoke to several folks who are going to be a part of the program. I reminded them they're right about the age that they're going to be taking care of me. So this is really important that we do this. Um, but you know, certainly want our students to have a robust academic uh, programming 
and have the ability to specialize the healthcare classes and the work-based uh, learning. And certainly couple that with the opportunity to earn uh, industry-valued credentials and uh, certifications. And I've got four kids, and you kind of want them to get a job one day, so that's good too. <laughs> You know, the, the new early college uh, model with uh, the fully integrated healthcare knowledge and job training uh, will have a high quality impact. It'll be well-rounded high school experiences for the students that are graduating from this program. And then we're gonna have you, we cannot wait to get you as part of the Atrium team because we have high demand for healthcare jobs and you all will help us do that. So it starts today here at Hawthorne Academy uh, of, of Health Sciences. So we're so excited to be partnering with, with Hawthorne in this endeavor. You know, the entire uh, Atrium Health team of which, uh, excuse me, Advocate Health team, which Atrium Health is now a part of, is deeply great, grateful uh, for the Bloomberg Philanthropy's commitment to the public health and education, as well as the developing pathways for future healthcare uh, careers. And so it is a major investment and is gonna pay wonderful dividends. And we're so thankful for the Bloomberg uh, support. I certainly want to support the, uh, excuse me, thank uh, the generous support that'll be filling gaps in the healthcare workforce because uh, as we all went through the, uh, the pandemic and, and we had uh, folks that came and left our industry, we as leaders are constantly trying to figure out a way to reinvest in that next generation of caregiver and this will be a, a gigantic piece. It'll give us vital clinical roles that, that are, uh, ser will serve our communities for years to come. And certainly there's guaranteed employment after this, so again, can't wait to sign y'all up and bring you over uh, and place you in the, health, uh, the Atrium Health family. And certainly we also believe in upward mobility of our community, and this is, again, will address that element as well as that growing demand for talent. You know, a, tr a gift like this truly changes lives, and, and so many lives will be impacted in our region. And the students who otherwise would not be able to join healthcare field to the patients who can be cared for will, uh, from a compassionate and skillful manner. It's just, just really huge impact. So just think of the opportunities an early college student um, could have. And let's just hypothetically say Tiffany and, and think about how her journey will be through this path. Um, say she's a ninth grader and Tiffany gets in, uh, to go and get engaged in on-site observations at Atrium Health Facilities. You know, in the 10th grade, she will begin college level courses at Carolina's College, followed by a paid internship at Levine Children's Hospital, where she'll discover her passion for pediatric nursing. Tiffany will then participate in clinical rotations throughout her final year of high school, prepared for a full-time job as a registered nurse in PEDS once she graduates. Tiffany's story is just a quick snapshot of the many students' success stories that are gonna be made possible because of this phenomenal grant. You'll hear more about uh, that from our partners about how this new program and what it means for the students and the people of our community. And again, we cannot express enough gratitude to Bloomberg Pro uh, Philanthropies for this amazing opportunity to transform lives. So with that, and without further ado, I'd like to welcome Howard Wilson, Education Lead for Bloomberg Properties, to say a few words. Well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, pleasure to be here. Uh, love to come down from New York City to North Carolina in the winter. Uh, happy to be here all the time, but especially in February. Um, I'm here with a number of my colleagues, uh, and I want to give a, a shout out to a couple in particular. My uh, partners at Bloomberg Philanthropy, um, Jenny Kane and Jamila Johnson, are here with me. They have been working on this project uh, uh, for some time and are very deeply invested in it and um, would not be possible without them, so thank you uh, both. Uh, and thank you, Ken. Um, this is indeed an exciting day. Uh, I did not realize that I was amongst the Hawks. Uh, I was at a basketball game yesterday. My son is a Fieldston Eagle, and one of the things that we do is we learn how to make the Eagle noise. I don't know what the hawk noise is, but I am willing to learn. <laughs> and maybe the next time I'm here, we'll be able to, we'll be able to do that with you. Um, we are here because at Bloomberg Philanthropies, we believe that all students should have the full range of options and opportunities to get good jobs with good wages. For too long, students have been left with only one option, four-year college or bust. And we know both students and their parents want and need more choices. There are 
so many well-paid jobs that don't require a four-year college degree, but students need specific training and credentials to get them. And today, most of those jobs are in healthcare. This is where our project comes in. High schools like the reimagined Hawthorne Academy of Health Sciences will provide students with the training while they are in high school. So if they choose, they can directly enter well-paid jobs at Atrium Health and other hospitals when they graduate. All the players are here. Atrium, Carolina's College of Health Sciences, and Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. Our job at Bloomberg Philanthropies has been to help bring these groups together and help kickstart and what we call de-risk the project upfront with private funding. But the overall goal for this partnership and nine others around the country is for them to be sustainable and for them to inspire other health systems and school districts around the country to launch similar models. My goal, it's somewhat immodest, but I want to dream big, my goal is 10 years from now, every hospital in America is going to say we want one of these high schools. Uh, and every school system in America is going to want to partner with a high school, uh, with a, a health system in order to provide this kind of opportunity for students. Um, as we began our search for partners on this project, which is now a year ago, uh, it took that long to sort of get to this place, uh, Charlotte clearly stood out. Uh, Charlotte has become, as you all know, a healthcare hub with over 60,000 open clinical positions projected through 2027. And I will tell you, you know, having now been here several times, when you get on that plane in New York City in the morning, it's packed. And there are flights every hour from New York here. I mean, there is a lot of really good things happening in Charlotte. Uh, I said to the flight attendant this morning, I said, boy, these planes are crowded coming down. They said, they're not as crowded going back home. <laughs> so you're doing, you're doing something right here, and we are proud to be with you and uh, partner with you on that. Uh, Atrium Health, obviously, is a leading employer in Charlotte and has shown tremendous commitment to this project since the very beginning, and thank you again and your team. And it's Carolina's College of Health Sciences is already partnering with Atrium to train the next generation of hospital workers, and of course, uh, Charlotte Mecklenburg School CMS is an innovator in early college models and providing career options for students. Again, there is so much good happening here that we are just proud to be a part of it and help bring it together. Um, it's an amazing group of partners. I want to thank you all for the collaboration. We've been, we felt very warmly welcomed here. Um, we're going to be coming down here a lot. We're going to be working with all of you. Um, we're very committed to making this happen. And as I said, my hope is 10 years from now, we'll be back with hundreds of Hawthorne graduates. I'll be learning how to make the sound of the hawk. <laughs> and many of those graduates will be working in atrium and hospitals around the country uh, following your lead. And thank you again. Uh, it is my pleasure now to introduce Meg Patchett from the Carolinas College of Health Sciences. On behalf of Carolina's College of Health Sciences, we would like to extend our gratitude to Bloomberg Philanthropies. We are so honored to receive this generous support that's going to enable us to build upon all that we know that works so well already through the success of our partner program at Cabarrus College of Health Sciences. At Carolina's College, healthcare education is all that we do. We live, eat, and breathe healthcare education, and we are delighted to partner with Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools because this is going to expand our reach to high school students. Currently, our student population is comprised primarily of working professionals. However, now with this partnership, we're going to be able to extend our reach to high school students, embarking you on your journeys sooner in your life so that you can pursue your healthcare dreams. Together, we have identified four programs that are potential pathways to prepare these students for their future journeys. 
These pathways not only match the needs for in-demand jobs existing in the health system, but it also guarantees secure employment. So students, you're going to have the opportunity to choose pathways from nursing, radiologic technology, neurodiagnostic technology, and healthcare simulation. That's exciting. And as part of your academic journey, you will have the opportunity to attend lectures alongside the medical students at Wake Forest School of Medicine in the Pearl at the new Howard Levine Education Center. So that's going to be a lot of fun. At the conclusion of students' four-year journey, they will have the opportunity to earn a high school diploma from Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools, their nursing aid certification, as well as a Associate of Science degree from Carolinas College. At that point, they're going to be ready to enter the workforce immediately, and Atrium Health is guaranteeing employment to those graduates who are in good standing. <laughs> Additionally, the colleges set aside slots designated for you students who decide you do want to continue your educational journey immediately so that you can go ahead and pursue additional degrees and certifications just furthering you along your career pathway. So we are excited for this opportunity. Again, we are very, very grateful for the Bloomberg Philanthropy support. And at this time, I'd like to turn this over for more information from the Charlotte Mecklenburg side, welcoming Stephanie Sneed, Chair of the Board of Education for Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of Charlotte Mecklenburg Board of Education, I want to thank Bloomberg Philanthropies, Carolina College of Health and Science, and Atrium for this grant and this partnership. Hawthorne Academy of Health Science is a natural fit, as you've heard, for this grant because it is a cooperative, innovative high school focused on health sciences. The infusion of money and the growth of our collaboration will benefit our students today, tomorrow, and into the future. I especially want to thank Ken Haynes, Howard Wolfson, and Meg Patchett for being instrumental in bringing this opportunity to our school. I know that Principal Bracey, Susan Gann and Dr. Hill are excited about what this can do for the future of Hawthorne. But I have to take a moment to center us, really center us on the significance of this partnership. As many of you know, Charlotte Mecklenburg and across the country, there is not only a shortage of teachers, I have to throw that in, mm -hmm. <laughs> we've got to talk about teachers. There's, only not, there's not only a shortage of teachers, but there's a shortage of healthcare professionals entering into the field. By the 2030s, it is anticipated there will be a shortage of 200,000 nurses and 125,000 physicians. That is a state of emergency. And many of our communities also face huge economic gaps, um, economic wage gaps, and healthcare gaps. This opportunity, this partnership, is representative of changing the trajectory and pathways of students, families, and citizens, not only in Charlotte Mecklenburg, but potentially across the country, even though we want you to stay here in Charlotte. Um, so today is a great example that everything is possible in K-12 education when we have our community partners come together to provide real world opportunities for our students. And as I always say, which Ken said, he touched on this, is that an investment in our students now pays dividends uh, in the future. And with that, I'm gonna turn over to our superintendent, the amazing Dr. Crystal Hill. Well, good morning, everyone. We're just so excited about this opportunity. So let me just begin by echoing uh, Board Chair Sneed's and thanking Bloomberg, Bloomberg Philanthropies um, for their wonderful generosity, just so amazing. I also want to say a very special thank you to Atrium Health and, of course, our team members with Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. We have so many staff members who have been instrumental in this work and the collaboration has been absolutely amazing, so thank you. This grant will be used to help Charlotte Mecklenburg School students prepare for careers in the healthcare industry. 
And how fitting that we receive this grant this month of February as we celebrate Career and Technical Education Month. The Enhanced Health Sciences Curriculum and the new Early College Program will deliver health care knowledge and job training to our students so they can graduate and go directly into high demand and very well paying jobs and careers. It also helps us deliver on our promise to ensure that every student that graduates from Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools does so either enlisted, enrolled, or employed. I am always in awe of support. I just absolutely love this city and I love this county. There's just so much amazing support. We have so many partners and so many supporters who want to help our students achieve and succeed. And we know that great schools equal great communities. Thank you, Atrium Health and Bloomberg. Um, you are absolutely no exception. We're extremely grateful for the gift and we look forward to watching our students graduate and our community continue to thrive. Thank you so much. And at this time, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Gerard Camacho, who is the Vice President for Workforce Development at Atrium Health. Hello and good morning, everyone. Uh, there's not much that hasn't been said, so I'll be brief. Uh, I remember it was about a year ago when I first met Jenny Kane and we had a, an announcement or we just had a call from the Charlotte Executive Leadership Committee, Blair Standard, or Stanford, saying there's an interest from Bloomberg to look at what we're doing in Charlotte and figure out if there's a possibility for us to partner. Well, many meetings, uh, meetings later, we are here today and it's an amazing day and it's an exciting opportunity and couldn't thank uh, there's not enough thank yous for everyone that has participated in this. It's been a, a really long time. It's been a year's uh, worth of work and a lot, a lot, a lot of hours dedicated to this. So thank you everyone that has been at a, a part of this uh, in the application process and in the design of this amazing experience. Um, we're excited about this opportunity to continue to partner with our academic institutions. And we're excited about the opportunity to continue to provide exposure to healthcare careers for uh, early high school students. With this, Atrium is committed to dedicating our efforts to create the next generation of healthcare workers across our system. Our partnership with Bloomberg Philanthropies allows us the ability to continue to expose uh, individuals to healthcare careers and provide them with information and the experiences needed to learn more about these healthcare pathways, to learn about the different job roles that are open within our system. Ken was talking about this earlier before. There's so many opportunities that are available at Atrium Health. Our, con we, our continued growth and the continued growth in, in acceleration of our patient population continues to demand the next generation of healthcare workers. And it is with this grant, with these opportunities, that we will be able to create that next generation of talent. We are committed to hiring the students, like you heard, through our Rise to Success program. This is a program that is dedicated specifically to hire rising seniors and then provide them with the experience to go ahead and become part of our organization, but continue in their journey and their healthcare careers. We'll provide wraparound services, career coaching, exposure to additional healthcare careers, and continue to provide them with the support needed to make sure that they advance to a family sustaining livable wage. So as early as the ninth grade in this program, students will have an opportunity to participate in observations and learn about healthcare careers. By the 11th grade, they will get paid summer internships, and those internships will be their pathway to economic mobility and prosperity. By their 12th grade, they will graduate with their certification as a nurse aide or continue their education, as Meg was talking about, in a different pathway into a healthcare career. But at that point, those students will be ready to enter the workforce. And that is the most amazing and impressive thing in this partnership or collaboration with Bloomberg. The ability to change the way that we are doing education so that individuals in the 12th grade, as they graduate high school, they have a guaranteed job, a guaranteed opportunity 
to go enter the workforce. And we're committed to their hiring and to their continued development and education. Thank you so much for investing in our community. And thank you so much for providing these much needed funds so that we can go ahead and get philanthropic agencies, the education system, and our hiring institutions together to make meaningful changes and advancements into pathways into healthcare and economic mobility within our community. Thank you guys. All right, who's not excited? <laughs> All right, I am. Um, so I wanna again thank our partners with Atrium, Bloomberg, and the Carolinas College of Health Sciences for your commitment to this work. Our friends at CMS, I know we're all excited and looking forward to next steps in this work. So to our community members and other partners, thank you for being here today. Um, our next step in this press event is we have a few student panelists who would be willing to answer any questions and talk about their experience. They will, uh, they're bearing some of the fruits of this grant, um, but they can tell you about what they look forward to and the exciting opportunities this will bring. And then for our media, there was a tour event that was um, offered. So we will do that following this, all right? Thank you guys for coming. Be safe getting home. <laughs>